Today I'm sharing with you my winter wardrobe for winter of 2022, really. It is more of a capsule style wardrobe. I have several pieces I have transitioned from fall, several pieces I have pulled out and revived that I've had in storage and hadn't worn, and then a couple pieces that I have found thrifted to incorporate into this wardrobe this season. And all of my items are thrifted, so that is a bonus too. It's just so helpful to have just a couple things you can pull from and put together, and so that's what I have done here. So to begin with, I have a blue and white striped gap three quarter length sleeve shirt that I have been wearing. It has little puffy sleeves on the top and I've never had anything like that. And so I think that's just very fun. It adds a little texture to my shirt and I wear it with some high waisted jeans and it's just extremely comfortable to wear around the house when I'm moving around with the kiddos. My next long sleeve or sweater is this Talbot's um, white sweater that I found thrifted, of course. And white is tricky to have when you have little kids and a newborn, well, six month old who spits up, but I wanted to go for it. And again, it was thrifted, so it's not such a big deal, but I really like how this looks with some either black high-waisted jeans or my um, American Eagle skinny jeans that I actually don't show, but they were in my fall capsule wardrobe or these other high-waisted button-down jeans that I have. They are just, um, this shirt is just really comfortable and something that I think is very classic and looks really nice if you have to go run errands or even if you're just staying home as well. And then my next sweater is this white birch it's kind of a tan brown color and I've had this for a while. I pulled it out of my storage and am reviving it. It kind of works for fall as well, but I just, I think that tan is such a good color, very neutral and goes with black, blue. Um, I can put a vest on over it. It's just a very nice go-to and I love the high-low look and of course, Tucking it into some high-waisted mom jeans is the thing to do, so that is what I've been doing with this sweater as well. And then on to my jeans that I have been mentioning here. So these high-waisted um, button-down jeans I've had for quite a while, and I just they weren't real popular at first when I got them, and so I kind of revived them and pulled them out again. They work so well around the house to wear, to go out and about. They're very comfortable. Again, high-waisted is great for a mom of little ones as you're bending down a lot, moving around a lot, and they are US made, which is really fun. So I really like having these. They're more of a straight leg than a skinny. Um, my body type, as you've probably noticed before, is very straight. So I, I've had two kids, but I still don't get a lot of hips after that. Um, I kind of just transition back into very straight. So I need jeans that fit pretty tight and pretty well. Um, and also some American Eagle jeans I found on ThreadUp, which if you're my body type, definitely check into those American Eagle skinny jeans because I have struggled for years to find jeans that fit my backside well because I don't have much of um, a backside either. So I need to find something that is more snug and skinny jeans for me is more of the way to go or very straight leg. Great, so then I also have some Jennifer Lopez black high-waisted jeans that I actually was gifted for Christmas a couple years back. And they are great for wearing out for a date or on the cold days when you go out to church, you can wear these black jeans if a dress, if it's just too cold. And uh, I like how well they fit. Again, Jennifer Lopez, I think is a Kohl's brand. I'm not 100% sure, but again, they were gifted. So really nice to have those to wear as well. All right, so back to the tops. I have two that I'm incorporating. I have a graphic tee. I've kind of liked this look, a graphic tee with a cardigan. And then I just have a black v-neck. So I really like v-necks as I think it's just more feminine and it really highlights someone's neckline. I used to do crew neck tees, but I really like how the v-necks look. This um, blue t-shirt is one that says, I am a child of God. It was thrifted, of course. It looks great untucked, 
tucked in with one of my cardigans over it, like my gray cardigan again that I have revived and pulled back out from years and years ago. It's a little bit worn looking, but to wear around the house or to run to our local grocery store, um, no one would know the difference. And then my black t-shirt is, I think I wanna say it's the Kohl's brand. Anne a Day is the brand of that. And so I just have this black t-shirt with I found this green cardigan on thread up and I really like how it looks. It's three quarter lengths, which is really nice for when you're doing dishes, you don't have to roll your sleeves up, just doing a lot of um, baking, so you don't have to roll your sleeves up. I like wearing those cardigans. The green cardigan is Banana Republic and the gray cardigan was from Aerie. Okay, and then to just a few other pieces. I am not doing a lot of additional pieces for my winter wardrobe. I love this dress. I wear this dress a lot. It's just such a soft texture. It's kind of a black white plaid. It's so comfortable. It's great with leggings, especially now in the winter um, because it's just so movable, so flowy. It was thrifted, of course, like I said. So it's just really great to have. And then another piece that you have to have are leggings. So I have two black leggings that I have one is just from walmart and the other one is just a hanes brand nothing special but i like having some nice black leggings oh i also do have a fleece lined for those really cold winter days as well so i do have three black pairs of leggings which i wear when i even go outside with jeans on under those as well or if i do put a skirt on or in this dress or a couple other more formal dresses for church or weddings and such. And then my um, other top that I have, my go-to is a vest. Now vests are great for those of you who get a little chilled in the house. And this is a Gap puffer vest I found for 50 cents a couple years ago at Goodwill on their like going out of stock um, line that they had. They just had a row of 50 cents items and I found this gap vest and I love it. I wear it all the time when I'm a little bit chilled and it works well also for the outfits that don't have pockets like this dress doesn't have pockets so then I can throw on my vest that has pockets. I can carry my daughter's tissues when she's got a runny nose in there or my phone because you often have to have pockets when you're a mom. So then to finish off my wardrobe are my snow boots. These are a go-to because we get snow in South Dakota. And so I wear my snow boots out and about a lot. Even when I'm pushing the stroller, walking outside in the winter, I wear my snow boots and I just slip them on. They're so easy. I do have some dress shoes, of course, but snow boots are my go-to for this time of year. So there you have it my very minimal additions and capsule style wardrobe for the winter months. I may find a few more things. You may see me wearing a few other different things. It's not that I don't have more than this. This is just more of the newer things that I want to wear um, regularly throughout this season. So capsule style wardrobe for you and remember that it's your body type, your style of clothing that works for you. This is what works for me as a nursing mom, as a mom of two little ones, as a stay at home mom. You may need to have professional wear and casual wear. You may need to have um, a lot more dress shoes. So just do what works for you. But I do find less is more. So hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day and I will talk with you in the next video.